hi guys, it's Drea, and today I am here with a very exciting, a little scary, a little vulnerable of a video. I'm saying that because I'm doing a swimwear try-on. First of all, I, <laughs> I haven't literally tried on swimwear in the longest time. It's probably been a few years. And as many of you probably understand the feeling, trying on swimwear could be very, a little nerve wracking. It could be a little frustrating. It could be a little scary. And you feel extremely, extremely vulnerable. Trust me, I feel you. And I'm a person that honestly my whole life, I've never worn a bikini. It's never been a thing for me. And I do want to change that because I don't want to restrict myself from wearing what I want. I don't want to restrict myself from even doing activities that require me wearing a bathing suit or something. I'm not going to say that I'm specifically looking for a bikini, but I definitely want to look for something that makes me feel confident and happy in myself and where I don't feel. If someone asked me, let's go to the beach this weekend, I would just say, no, I don't want to because it's a self-confidence thing for sure. And like I always say in my videos, I love making these like videos like this, but I'm not 100% confident all the time. And there are days that I have really bad days and then there are days that I have really good days but I've always been a person that has said like I don't really like the beach I've always lived around the beach I don't really care for it I don't really like going to the pool and I'm not saying that those are exactly lies like I definitely feel like oh sometimes the sand really upsets me <laughs> or just like going into the pool kind of grosses me out every now and then I don't want to restrict myself from these activities just because I'm scared of what other people think of me I'm pretty like you know, in the middle, the mid-size realm. I wanted to not restrict myself. After 2020, I told myself, I'm going to just literally live my best life. I know that sounds, I know that sounds cheesy, I do, to live your best life. At the same time, like, I do want to live my best life and I don't want just the thought of people staring at me or the thought of just being not super confident in something to stop me from going out and doing what I want to do. So I am going to go to the beach this year is basically what I'm saying. I'm going to do it for me and I'm going to do it so that I'm happy. With that being said, of course, I have to find the perfect bathing suit for me. I'm going to start off with Aerie today. I don't know if you guys have any other recommendations for bathing suits. Let me know and I'll definitely do a review slash haul on bathing suits and also just show you different things. And hopefully you are inspired to find a bathing suit that really makes you feel comfortable and confident as well. I know I've been rambling for ages, but this is very important. Like, it, I think it's really important. I mean, we're all in this together. So, like I said, I chose Airy to be the first brand to shop from, the first company. I know I hear a lot of good things from people. So I'm gonna try on Airy. I've never had any of their bathing suits. I've never really tried any of their, any type of undergarments overall from them. So this will be a different thing. Let's go into finding the bathing suits for 2021 summer that way we feel confident and feel ready to take on the beach the pool anything that comes our way and we're just happy and confident and trying to live our best lives to the fullest without having anything stop us from doing it so with that um let's get started so we are gonna start off with this bad boy right over here this cute number has this this texture to it. it's kind of waffly really cute feels really nice. I love the pattern too. I think the flowers are really pretty. Overall, I really like the color. So I got this in a US size large and this one was $59.95. So these are technically, I think, pricey. Um, I definitely think like these bathing suits are pricey. Let's give this a try, see if it works. I really, I really hope it does. <laughs> so this is what she looks like. Okay, so that was obviously just an overview of what my bathing suit looked like. I do actually really like this bathing suit. I think it's really pretty. I like the neckline. I like that it goes kind of straight. I really, really like the lace-up detailing, which is something that I was a little nervous for to begin with. The only problem that I see with this bathing suit is the straps. So as you can see, it's already kind of bent. 
I just kind of have to adjust it. It almost like flips out, which is kind of weird. I do think that it, this might not actually work for someone with a bigger chest, only because I am a C cup, which is a pretty average like in between size, I think. And it already kind of feels like my boobs are overflowing, but I still really like it and I might keep it. I'm not sure. I don't like the, the fact that I have to like constantly readjust. I'm like constantly kind of hiking up my boobs, hiking up the um, bathing suit and just kind of trying to readjust just the straps and on to the next I got this one it's a striped one piece this one piece kind of reminds me of one of those conchitas I think they're like a Mexican pastry I like to call it the Mexican croissant but anyways this is the one I got it's a one piece it has a little bit of a lower back which is cute it has this form of texture to it I think it's really cute and then this one obviously got in a size large and this one was $54.95 let's give this one a try I kind of really like this one but at the same time it makes me feel like I'm a conchita I'll show you what it looks like I do really like this drop. Usually I'm not a huge fan of like lower drops, but I'm here for this. This is actually really cute. And overall, I do really like this, but I don't know. Is it kind of, it, does, it I don't know if it's like too intense of a pattern for me. The stripes in general, like are they too much of stripes? Like are they too intense? I don't really have anything bad to say about it. I definitely feel like my boobs are 100% protected. I don't feel like I'm gonna have to constantly hike up this bathing suit, which is nice It's just kind of it's easy. Yeah, and I feel pretty stylish in it Something about the conchita look is really good and on to the next this one's kind of funky This one's supposed to be like a wrap style. So I'm going to show you what the heck that means. What does this even mean? All right, so <laughs> This one looks like this. I'm telling you, it's kind of a funky feel. Got it in a size large as per usual, and it is $54.95. Let's give this one a try. This one has polka dots, by the way, and I think it's cute. They have different patterns and in this one too. Finally, on to the third bathing suit. And I wanna say, I think this one's actually my favorite one. I'm gonna show you guys. So as you can see, it's definitely a one piece. The front looks and makes it look like it's almost a two-piece. I think it's really, really flattering, honestly. I think it's really cute. It makes me look like I have an hourglass figure. I can also play volleyball with this and not have to worry about anything. And also something that I forgot to mention is that the straps are actually adjustable. I didn't realize that until now, so I can literally hike up my boobs a lot higher. <laughs> Um, which I'll probably do so that they're a little bit more on the perky side, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, and now we are going into this one. This one is more of a tube top like thing, but it also has these things just in case you want to like strap it on. I really like the color. The color is amazing. I think it'll look great with my skin tone. Right now I'm seeing that it's one of these little clippy claspy things and that's always a struggle for me this one does have three settings just in case you have a smaller back versus a wider back so hopefully she hopefully she fits this one was in a size large and also this one was 49 at 95 let's try it on so going into the next one this one is not it for me personally for me i would definitely have to size up to an extra large instead of this large i tend to have like a wider back and just like a larger rib cage to begin with when it comes to clasps or when it comes to zippers sizing up is always a must for me so here i am um, it is a really beautiful color and it would be really cute if it fit correctly. This is all I have for you at this moment. Um, this one did not work out for me, but if you have a shorter torso, if you have a sl um, smaller back, waist, rib cage, then this one could potentially work for you really well. Just obviously not for, for me. <laughs> So the next bathing suit is actually a bikini. It is a high-waisted one because I, I feel more comfortable in high-waisted. I didn't get anything like low-rise. I just know I, I wouldn't be happy with it. So I got this top. I think it's so pretty. I think it's so cute. This is the texture it has. It really just looks like a really short crop top. So it has like a almost something to hold your boobs. It's almost like a built-in bra, <laughs> essentially. This one's really cute and it comes paired with these high-waisted 
waisted bottoms. And again, I got both of these in a size large. The bottoms are $29.95. The top is $39.95. Let's give this a go. Forgot to mention, I also got this shawl to go with it. It's like a little beach cover up and I got it to go with the bikini. This one didn't come with the, the price tag. That's kind of weird. I don't know how, how expensive it was and just, <laughs> I will link it down below. All right, so on to an actual bikini-ish thing. I'm not obsessed. I'm gonna show you guys and then I'm gonna explain. <laughs> And then with the cute little shawl thing that I got, I think it's super cute. My problems are mostly with the bottoms. I like the top. I actually really like the top a lot. Again, my problem is mostly with the bottoms. I ended up getting the high cut cheeky. I wish I had gotten like the full coverage one because I have wider set hips. And also I happen to have like chunky, like right here. Like it's, it's a thing. I have it here. I have it on the sides. So when they're high cut, my fat just kind of tends to like squish up at the bottom and it just highlights it a lot, which I personally don't love. I don't usually do high cut cheeky. Because of this, I went to the Aerie store on Friday morning and they didn't have any of the full coverage ones in store. They said they don't carry them in stores, they only carry high cut cheeky. I ended up just sizing up in a black one, unfortunately, but I just wanted to show you guys how it looked. Uh, they obviously didn't have this like brownish camel color, so I couldn't get it. I I like it so much better when I size up to an extra large because there's less pressure right over here. That's what she looks like if this were her. I got a second bikini and this is more bikini bikini. It looks like this. It has these really cute ruffles right over here and I, I like that. I think that's really fun and flirty. The back has these like type of stringy straps but it does that crisscross with the, the straps. I got these high-waisted bottoms with it and it's in a size large and it's $34.95. These feel buttery soft and because it has the same brown, I kind of like did that. Thought it'd look good together. Oh, I don't think I mentioned the size on this. The size on the top is large and it's $34.95. Let's give it a try. Okay, and on to the last one. This one's also a more bikini style but it is also high-waisted, and with this one, I also got the high-cut cheeky, so um, you're definitely gonna see my underwear because I don't wanna like, because then my, yeah, I, I hope you understood that. Do they have full coverage? I will link it down below just in case I find the full coverage version. If not, then I will link a high-waisted full coverage version that is similar to this color. I, I mean, I don't feel a thousand percent, that's for sure. Um, but I think overall it's still pretty cute. I really like that. I like the top. I think I could probably hike it up a little bit more. Cute. I really like the bottoms too. I wish that they weren't high cut cheeky, but I don't think I'll be keeping this one. I forgot to show this one off. It's just a black piece. <laughs> yeah, it's in a size large. It has this really cute rouging right up top. A little cute tie at the front. A little hole right there. And, ooh, if you turn it around, the back dips just a little bit. So it is in a size large and it is $54.95. Let's let's try this one on. I don't remember what number we're on. We're on this one right now. I don't love it. I don't think it really does anything for me. It is pretty cute, but it's nothing like the one um, previous. I'm gonna show you. I am having a little bit of the same issue with the straps. Looks like that. It, I feel like it really does nothing. This one's okay. Nothing wrong with it other than the straps. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful and I hope that it got you inspired to look for bathing suits that you like and that you feel comfortable in and confident in and sexy in. Again, bathing suits, loads of requirements, you know? like. They gotta meet all those for us. I wanna feel amazing in my bathing suit. The one I'm going to be keeping is no doubt the polka dot one. I loved how I felt in this. I felt really confident, I felt really good, I felt like a woman, I felt sexy, and that's that's really how we're supposed to feel. I wanna feel good in my bathing suit, so I'm keeping this one. I think it looks so good. I'm probably gonna get a second in the same style in a different pattern because I, I really liked it. And I was just like definitely happy with it, so I hope you 
guys can also find something you enjoy. Let's do this together. We've got this. Let's make 2021 our year where we just literally embrace ourselves and love ourselves and try to do everything in our power to make ourselves feel good, feel happy, feel confident, feel beautiful because we are. I will link everything down below for you guys so that you can easily access it. I guess that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed and yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. Bye.